بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Welcome back dear students to a commercial subjects group for level 2 We are still in chapter 13 in accounting 111 and our subject today uh, is talking about how to prepare the balance sheet Today we are going to learn the layout of the balance sheet and how to prepare a classified balance sheet if you remember, we have talked about the three important financial statements, which are income statement, statement of owner's equity, and the balance sheet. We said these three uh, statements are linked together, so we have to prepare them one by one. In the previous lessons, we have learned how to prepare the income statement, then we learned how to make the statement of owner's equity and today inshallah we are going to learn how to prepare the balance sheet. Let's have a quick review on the last lessons. In the first lesson we learned how to prepare the income statement and we said it is a report. It should be prepared for a period of time like end of the month or end of the year. We should list the revenues and the expenses in this statement in order to find if the company is making net income, which means profit, or facing net loss, which is losing money. Then we learned how to prepare the second statement, which is the owner's equity statement, and this is a step two. We learned that it is a report as well, and we should prepare it in the same period that the income statement was prepared. Then, in the statements of owner equity, we should study the change in the owner's equity, uh, equity uh, which is the capital, and we want to list the events that will increase the capital and the events that will decrease the capital in order to calculate the ending capital here and this amount we are going to use today in the balance sheet. Before we start our lesson, I want you to sit in a quiet place, hold your calculator and bring a piece of paper with a pen to solve the exercises with me. First, if you remember, we have talked about the basic accounting equation. We said it is the assets equals liability plus owner equity. We said this uh, formula should be balanced, which means this side should be equal to this side. And this is the whole idea of the balance sheet. We want to make sure that the balance sheet is balanced by applying this formula. In this lesson, we are going to learn that the assets are classified into current assets and fixed assets. The current assets are short-term assets that used in the company or in the business for one year or less than one year, like cash or supplies. The fixed assets are long-term assets, which means they stay in the business or in the company for more than one year. Like buildings or motor. What is balance sheet? Balance sheet is the statement that refers to the financial position at the close of business period by classifying the balance sheet. And today I'm going to emphasize on the classifying of the balance sheet because we are going to learn how to do it. First, we will talk about the format of balance sheet. It comes in two formats. The first format is the horizontal format. As you can see here, we are listing the assets in the left side and we are listing the liabilities and the owner equity in the right side. We want to make sure that the assets equal to the liabilities plus the owner equity. And we want to list 
the assets by classifying it into current assets and fixed assets. The aim of the balance sheet is to make sure that this formula is balanced. We will take the, the total of the assets here, both the current and the fixed, and we will add uh, the total amount of equity and the total amount of liability. Here we will add the total of both of them and we will check that these amounts are equal. If it is equal, then the balance sheet is balanced and this formula is balanced. The second format of the balance sheet is the vertical format, which means we are listing the assets and the liability with the owner equity all in one line. So the formula will be applied like assets equal liability plus owner's equity. And we want to make sure the same concepts that the total assets, current and fixed assets, are equal to the total of liabilities with owner equity. If these totals are equal to each other, then our balance sheet is balanced and we have successfully applied this formula. Moving to activity uh, number one, which is the first activity here, we have the following balances that were extracted from the book of Osama. This is the name of the company, and these uh, balances were extracted in the date of April 13th, 2019. We have here cash, account receivable, supplies, prepaid insurance, machines, equipment, accounts payable, unearned service revenue, and here we have ending capital. This ending capital was brought from step two of the financial statement, which is the statement of owner's equity. So the requirement of the question is to prepare balance sheet for April 13th, 2019. So in this activity, we are going to prepare only the balance sheet because they already have given us the ending uh, capital from the statement of owner's equity. So first, we will uh, try to solve the balance sheet together. The layout of this balance sheet is obviously horizontal because we are listing the assets in the left side and the liabilities with the owner equity in the right side. Now we want to make sure that this formula is balanced in order to make this balance sheet balanced. We will start first with listing the current assets, which are the short-term assets. We have here cash, we have account receivable, supplies, prepared insurance, and we are going to calculate the total of this amount to get this total of current assets. Now we will list the fixed assets, which are machines and equipment and we will calculate the total of these two amounts to get the total of fixed assets. In order to get the total assets we have to uh, add both the current assets total and the fixed asset total and to get uh, the total assets of both of them. These amounts are brought from this balance we are not bringing any information from anywhere, just from this balances that were given in the question. Then we will move to the current liabilities. We will list them, which are the accounts payable, unearned service revenue, and we will get the total of these two to get the total current liabilities. Moving to the uh, owner's equity, we will list the uh, entries here. We have the ending capital that was brought from the statement of owner's equity. And we will list the total of it because we only have the ending capital here. We will add these two amounts together to get the total of liabilities and owner's equity. And these two amounts are equal, as you can see which means our 
balance sheet is balance. Like this, we have solved this, uh, this uh, activity by uh, balancing these two amounts. Moving to the second uh, activity, we have here balances of Dana Company. It is in the period of December 31st, 2019. They want us to prepare the financial statements which means the three financial statements that we have talked about. The period that we should uh, prepare them is December 31st, 2019. They give us this trial balance of Donna Company, and this is the period uh, of December 31st, 2019. They give us all these balances here, and they want us to make the financial statement. First of all, we will start off the first statement which is the income statement in the income statement as you remember from our first lesson the only two things we care about are revenues and expenses so we will look from the trial balance to see or to find the revenues and expenses we will highlight them and we will add them to the uh, income statement here to get if the company is making net income or net loss. So we will add or list the revenues here and uh, make or calculate the total of the revenues. Then we will list the expenses here and we will calculate the total of the expenses. Then we will compare between these two totals. As you can see, the total expenses is higher than the total of revenues which means the company is facing net loss, which means the company is losing money. That's why we have calculating this uh, two uh, amounts by subtracting them to get the amount the company is losing, which is 2,900 BD. Moving on to the second statement, which is the owner's equity statement. This is statement number one, and this is a statement number two. They should be prepared one after each other. And this is statement, I put here the name of the company, and I have to mention the name of the statement because I am working on three statements here. And I have to mention the period of time, which has to be same as the time or the period of the income statement. I have to start with the beginning capital or the uh, owner's capital from the trial balance. So I have to look here in the balances to get the capital. I will add the capital here. This is our beginning capital. Then in the statements of owner equity, I have to list the events that will increase the capital or uh, the events that will end, the events that will decrease the capital. But here we are facing net loss as we got from the income statement, which means the company is losing money. There are no events that increasing the capital here. So I will add the capital, then I will add the net loss. I will get the total by subtracting them and I will get this amount. Then I will list here the drawings from the trial balance here. I got this amount. I will put it here and I will calculate the ending capital by subtracting these two amounts and I will see I started with this amount of capital and I have ended with this amount of capital because the company is losing money. Now let's complete our activity and start to prepare the balance sheet. Here we have the same trial balance of Donna Company. As you can see, we have the balance sheet in the format of horizontal balance sheet because we have to start here with the assets and at this side, I will list the liabilities and owner's equity. I want to make sure that this formula is balanced. First, I will list the current assets, which are cash, accounts receivable, supplies, inventory, and I will add these figures to get the total current assets. Then I will list the fixed assets, which are lands, building, 
and furniture. I will add this amount to get the total assets. Then I will get or calculate the total assets by adding these two amounts. Like this, we have finished this side of the formula. Now we will start with the liability and owner equity side. We will list the accounts payable, interest payable, notes payable, and bonds payable. We will calculate the total of liabilities and we will get 30,200 BD, which is the total of liabilities. Now we will list the owner's equity and we only have the ending capital, which, uh, which we calculated from statement of owner equity in step number two. We will get this amount and we will list it here. Then we will calculate the total liability and equity by adding these two amounts. Now I will compare the two sides of my balance sheet or my formula of accounting, uh, uh, the accounting equation, and I will get this side uh, amount is 227,000 BD, and th in this side I have 227,000 BD. And uh, if I will compare them, I will see that they are equal to each other, which means that my balance sheet is balanced and I have successfully balanced the accounting equation. Now, let's try to find out if these statements are true or false. I have here balances extracted from the book of Selman Company. These balances are cash, supplies, prepaid insurance, and equipment and also building. They have calculated the total current assets of these balances and they got this amount. Now I want to make sure if this statement is correct or wrong. The only way to make sure if it is correct or wrong is by solving it. So we will first classify our current assets here. We will see cash is current assets. So I will take it. Supplies is also current assets. I will take this amount as well. And uh, prepared, uh, prepaid insurance is also current assets. Let's check the equipment. They are long-term assets, which means they are not current assets. Building are also long-term assets, which means they are not current assets. These uh, two amounts are fixed assets because they are long-term assets. So I don't need these amounts. So only I will take these amounts that I have marked and I will put them and to find out the total of them. 12,000 BD for the cash, 8,000 BD for the supplies and 5,000 BD for the prepaid insurance. I will add this amount to get the total of 25,000 BD. Now, if I compare my answer to the answer in this statement, it is definitely not the same, which means this statement is wrong. The answer is 25,000 BD. Moving on to the second statement that we have to check. If the company has total assets of 120,000 BD, total current assets of 80,000 BD, they said that the total fixed assets are 200,000 BD. Now we want to make sure if this statement is correct. So we will calculate the total assets uh, and to find out that the fixed assets that, that they have cal calculated here is correct or not. We will add or use this formula, the total asset equals the current asset plus the fixed assets. They have given us the total assets, which is 120,000, which is equal to the current assets, 80,000 BD, plus the fixed assets that we have to calculate now. To calculate the fixed asset, I have to subtract these two amounts to get 40,000 BD. Now, as you can see that this answer is definitely not the same as the answer in this statement. 
which means that this statement is also wrong and this is the correct answer as a summary of all the information or the skills that we are going to learn from accounting one accounting two and accounting three we have prepared the steps of accounting cycle we are going to learn identifying and analyzing transactions in accounting one record transactions in journal in accounting one post journal totals to journal ledgers in accounting one prepare unadjusted trial balance in accounting one as well prepare an adjusted trial balance in accounting two prepare adjusting journal entries and post to general ledger trial balance in accounting two we will prepare financial statements in accounting one this is the lessons that we were talking about prepare and post closing entries in accounting three prepare and after post closing trial balances in accounting three thank you students for watching how to prepare the three financial statements we have completed all these three statements for more exercises please go to your book and start solving chapter 12 and chapter 13 exercises or go to the website and download exercises from there and try to solve them by yourself in order to uh, be better in this statements. Thank you students and good luck.